Hey guys, Tom with Permaculture Wilmington here. Um, I just got my new aeration tool here. Very excited about this. Um, I like, I really like the handle uh, and the, the prongs on it are really wide. So what we're, we're doing, this is just a garden fork, um, but this is what you, how you use it. You, you aerate the soil. So um, you get around the plants, not too close. And then in, in a, when you already have things planted, when, if you're doing a new bed, it's a lot easier because then you just uh, stick it in the ground like, like so, where you step on it and it goes in, flush with the ground, and then we're just going to pull back on it, all right? So all we're doing, if you guys see, the plants in front are all lifting up just a little bit. What we're doing is creating interstitial space in the ground, these air pockets. And then when I pull that out, it's going to have air pockets in the soil now, and that creates an environment that the good bacteria live in. So that's really how we can decipher. It, it gets a lot deeper than just good and bad bacteria, and it, it gets a lot deeper than just aerobic and anaerobic, which is with air and without air, or with oxygen and, or without oxygen. It gets deeper than that, guys, but as a general understanding, just so everybody is on the same page, aerobic soil is where the good guys live, okay? The, the anaerobic soil is where microbes live that cause disease and eat roots and uh, cause pest problems because they're, they're eating your roots, making your plants weak. So when that happens, your plants aren't going to be able to thrive and they won't have thick foliage. They'll have thin foliage or foliage that has, a, you know, like this has got a little, bit of a, um, a little bit of yellowing to it where the soil is just so compacted in this area that it's not getting enough air and so we add oxygen and we invite those good microbes into the world that we have under the soil and it, those microbes are going to protect our plants and feed our plants and do all the work for us we won't have to do a thing but we have to have it aerated um, we have to have it decompacted so if you have have standing water areas in your yard very important to get those out and you can do that by just getting a fork and if, if the compaction layer is within the depth of the fork um, if not, you just need to get a means for breaking the soil deeper. And you can do something as easy as, as drilling, uh, um, using an uh, auger on a drill. Uh, if you have a landscaping auger, um, I, I use one for planting because I plant a lot of solo cups. And uh, it just goes in and makes about a three inch hole. And I can put it down about two or three feet. Um, but I could fill that hole with, say, wood chips. And uh, well, I could first you, you spray micro or effective microbes into the hole, so you're inoculating the hole with biology, and then you, you dump the wood chips down the hole, um, and that fills up the hole and keeps the dirt from getting in, so air can still get down into it and water can still seep in. Um, but basically, what you're doing is inoculating your soil underneath the layer of compaction, and those microbes are going to, to break all that up for you over time. And the wood chips you shove down the hole to keep the dirt from filling in and recompacting in the hole that's going to be nutrition for them while they're down there so i don't know about you guys but i mean that makes total sense to me and there's a couple people that are doing that right now around the world for for uh, farmers and coming into their their um, their farming areas and relieving compaction and seeing three times the production on the plants as a result three times guys that is just to me that is unbelievable so my goal today is to aerate the soil and then i'm turning my compost pile if you guys saw the uh I've got a couple compost piles over here. If you guys saw the video I made where I took all my neighbor's um, trash that they were throwing out, it was, it was all the, um, the lawn debris. So a lot of hardwood leaves from oak trees. I mean, that's just straight nutrition and it's got fungal matter on it, fungal uh, spores. So you're, you're inoculating any pile you put those leaves into with fungus and soil fungus at that. So this is gonna be, it, you know, this is all nutrition and it's all, um, basically feeding your microbes and, and re-inoculating your microbes and strengthening your soil biome. So this is all very positive stuff, guys, and it all revolves around aerated soil. So this is the trick right here. We need this and we need um, effective microbes, which is worm tea or compost tea, um, just high microbial concentration solutions with beneficial organisms only, um, if possible. I mean, you can never really have a solution with nothing but positive or beneficial organisms because anaerobes some anaerobes are, are, are beneficial as well but some are not and they're kind of always there that's what the the whole thing in life is is we always have the good and the bad and we just have to accept that there's never a situation where it's like just good that you won't find that in nature you know there's always good and bad that keep everything in balance very very good to to understand that guys and 
and it really helps out in the garden because not everything we see is is good or bad like it's all it's all part of nature it's all systems working together and if you take one of those out you're going to be missing a part so this is just a, a natural machine that's been made and we need to make sure that all the parts are here and those are microbes that's all we got to do microbes and create an environment that's aerated bada bing guys hope you're having a great day this is tom with permaculture wilmington enjoy <laughs>